Hello guys, today we're re reading The Japanese Garden, story by Sally O'Neill O'Neil and then O'Neill, illustrations by Carrie Claire. Claire Bridge. The Japanese Garden, story by Sally O'Neill 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 No, O'Neill O'Neill There and, you go. And then O'Neill Good boy. She's just by Claire, Claire, Claire Bridge. Yes. Bridge, Bridge. If you cannot read it properly, pull the book closer to you. Nico and Shari Akira lived with their parents in California. Their father often had to go on business trips to Japan. While he was away, they missed him very much. Every time Mr. Akira came home, he had photos to show them. He told Nico and Shari about the crowded city in Japan where he worked. Most people have very small houses and gardens, he said. It is hard for you to imagine just how small these gardens are. In Japan, there, were, there, there are some people who never leave the big cities, explained Mr. Akira? Yeah, Akira. They have to travel a long way across the city to get to work, so their peaceful gardens are very important to them. Before they leave home each morning, they like to spend time there. Nico. Nico and Sherry love to hear about the tiny gardens. They imagine the things inside them, the rocks, the water, the pebbles, and I mean the small plants and and the little stone lanterns. Mr. Akira showed the children photos of the little garden at the hotel where he stayed. I often sit in this beautiful place, he said. I look at the rock and see mountain. I listen to the water waterfall and think of a river. I look at the small bamboo trees and see a deep forest. Then I am ready to start work to start work in a busy city. We miss you so much when you are away, Nico said to his father. Won't you take us to Japan next time you go? We'd love to see the little garden that you sit in, said Shari. I'm sorry, said, said Mr. Akira. I can't take you on my business trips. A few days later, Mr. Akira... Akira. 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 No, went, you're rushing. A. A. Kira. Akira. Good job. Went back to Japan. Nico and Sherry felt very sad, but Mr. Akira. Mrs. But Mrs. Akira. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Try again. Akira. No. Akira. A Kira. Ria. No. A Kira. There you go. Said to them, we should make we our. Could. We could make our own Japanese garden in the backyard. Then while you go, your father. Then, then while your father is away father is away, we could go there and think of him. The but Mrs. Akira, Akira. Akira said to them, we could make our own Japanese garden in the backyard. Then while your father is away, we could go there and think of him. The children loved the idea. They carried outside with their mom with their mother and clear place in the corner of the yard. Then they began to pl plant their garden. The next day, Mrs. Akira and the children went to the garden store. They bought a tall rock and some stones, yeah, some pebbles and some soft green moss. The bo they bought some little trees and other plants and bamboo to make a forest. They bought a bowl to hold the sparkling water. The last thing they bought was a small. They bought was a small stone lantern to make their garden special. As soon as they got home, they planted the bamboo forest. They pulled the tall. They put the tall rock in the corner to make a mountain. 
They laid some of the stones around it. They put the large stones on the other side of the garden. They placed the water bowl carefully on top of the stones. They put one end of the hose into a bowl, into the bowl, and it began to fill with water. They added the green moss and the rest of the plants. Then they spread the pebbles. As the water flowed out of the bowl, it made a soft splashing noise, just like a mountain stream. I did read. Last of all, they put the lantern in front of the forest. They stood back and admired admire the garden. It was beautiful. In the quiet of the early morning and again in the evening, Nico and Shari sat on the wooden bench by their Japanese garden. They listened to the sound of the water flowing down over the stones and they thought of their father in Japan. When Mr. Akira arrived home at the end of the week, Nico and Shari took him to see their garden. He was amazed. It's beautiful, he said. It looks just like the garden at my hotel. And he put a candle in the lantern. I did read. Oh, that evening Mr. Akira... Akira. Akira. There is no an I or Y there, so Akira. Akira. There. Akira. Mr. Akira lit the candle. The flicking light made patterns on the rocks and pebbles. Nico, I mean Nico and Sherry loved their garden. It was their special place. Whenever you are away, we can sit here and think of you. Sherry said to her father, and you can sit in your Japanese garden and think of us, said Nico.